Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design banners for your Shopify store, just like the one that you can see on my website right here using Canva. So let's dive straight into it. First of all, we're going to open Canva and now what we're going to do is create a new design. Now I'm going to create a custom size design and this is going to be 2400 by 1200 pixels. So this can vary depending on the type of banner that you want to create, but this is what we're going to go with for this video. So then simply click create new design. And here we go. So now we are ready to start building our banner for our Shopify store. So on the banner that you saw on my Shopify store a few seconds ago, it was split into two sections. I had text on the left and an image on the right. So in order to do that, first of all, I'm going to add the image to the right over here. So what I'm going to do is add a square frame element for the image. So I'm going to go to elements and search, and then we're going to click onto frame. So we're just going to find a perfect square frame. So this one here is good. However, it has a white border. So that one is not what we want. This one here is perfect. So we're going to add it to our design and then we're going to make it bigger and we're going to make it 1100 pixels high and wide as well. There we go, that's perfect. So that's 1100 by 1100. So we have the frame added already. Now I'm gonna go ahead and upload a photo to drag into this frame. And as you can see, I've already uploaded some photos. So I'm simply going to drag in this one here and then I'm going to double click it and make sure that it's centered in the frame. There we go. Now I'm going to click onto the frame again and make sure that it is centered. I think for now here will be about right. And now we are ready to add the text on the left over here. So what I'm going to do is add a simple square element that we're going to add our text on top of. So I'm simply going to go to elements and type in square. Here we go. So this first square is absolutely perfect. So now I'm just going to move the square to the top left corner and I'm going to hold shift and click and drag to enlarge the square. And by holding shift, it will make the width and height lock in so that they don't randomly change and so that we can keep it exactly square. And remember, we want it to be 1100 by 1100. There we go, that's perfect. Now I'm just going to align them both and I'm going to select both of these and group them and then I'm going to center them both together as well. There we go, so that is the first part done. Now what I want to do is change the color of this square. So I'm going to click onto it and click the color block up here. And now I'm going to add my own custom color. You can add any color that you want and you can make the square any color that you want. Of course, you can go by your own brand colors and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So I'm simply going to paste in the color code up here and I'm going to click onto the color that I have added. There we go. So it's not quite white, as you can see, it's slightly different to the background, which is exactly white. And it's not exactly the same as the background of the photo either. So it adds a nice dynamic to this design. So now we are ready to start adding our text to our banner design. So let's go to text on the left over here, and we're simply going to add a heading. Now I'm going to replace this text and I'm going to write 20% and I'm going to make the text a lot bigger. In fact, in the box up here, I'm simply going to make the font size 270 pixels and hit enter. There we go. Now you can set the font to be anything you want it to be. However, I'm going to use the league Spartan font just here. Now what I'm going to do is make sure that this text is centered in the box on the left just here. And in order to do that, I'm actually going to have to ungroup these two elements. And now I'll be able to center it. There we go. That's perfect. And now we can group these two together again. 
Okay, so we have the main part done. Now we just have a few more things to do and then this will be pretty much completed. So first of all, I'm going to add another square element and I'm going to make it the same color as the background of the left box. So that is this one here. Now what I'm going to do with this is bring it in front of the text and I'm going to cover the bottom half of the zero. There we go. I think I could make it a little bit lower. Now I think this will add a cool effect and what I'm going to do is add the word off over the top of this box. So I'm going to duplicate the text and I'm going to write off and of course enable uppercase mode and this text only needs to be around 70 pixels. So let's remove the 200 and make it just 70. Now we're going to move the text into here so that it's in the lower half of the zero and there we go. I think this looks absolutely fantastic. Now all I'm going to do is add the final little bit of text that we need to add to this design. So I'm going to duplicate this text here and I'm going to make it quite a bit smaller. I think about 15 pixels and I'm also going to change the font to assistant extra light and I'm just going to move the text element down here and here I'm going to write use code summer at checkout. Now we just want this to be on one line just like that and I'm going to make the coupon code bold. Now I'm just going to put this below the word off about there and there we go we have created our banner I think that this looks absolutely fantastic and of course you can add your own unique styles to your banner but I think that this is a really cool design now you can go ahead and download this and then upload it to your Shopify store however before that I'm going to show you how to design another style of the same banner so what I'm going to do is duplicate this page by clicking this icon here so that we don't have to design everything all over again. And now I'm going to ungroup these two elements and I'm only going to select this photo here. Now what I'm going to do is make it quite a bit smaller. I think about there is good. And I'm going to bring it in and then I'm going to duplicate it three times. Now I'm going to put one to the right of it, one below it, and one down here as well. We just need to make sure that this is all lined up properly. There we go. Now I think that this gap in the middle is a bit too big so I'm actually going to have to make these a bit bigger. So I'll start with this one here. I think 540 could be good. Let's see how that works. I'll duplicate it three times again. And I'm going to line it all up. We just need to make sure that it's all lined up perfectly. And then this one here as well. Okay, this is not quite perfect just yet. I'm just going to select both of these two on the left and I'm going to bring them in slightly. There we go. I think that this looks absolutely perfect. Now I'm going to go to uploads again and I'm just going to drag some other images in. And of course we want to make sure that all of our photos are centered in the image frames. And finally this one here as well. And there we go. So we have just created two different Shopify banners. They are similar styles but they are also different as well. So this one here says 20% off use code SUMMER at checkout with the image of a bucket hat on the right or just any image you could add any product photo on the right. So this will allow you to focus in on one product. 
And then we have this dial down here, which is what we can use to focus on four different products. So now what I'm going to do is title our project. I'm just going to simply title it Shopify banners and hit enter. And now to download them, I'm going to click share and download. We want to download both pages and then I'll click the download button. Now you just want to make sure that you save them to the right location on your computer. And once you are ready, click save. Now I'm going to click show in folder. And because we downloaded multiple designs at once, it has given us a zip file. So I'm going to right click it and click extract to Shopify banners. This will then give us a folder with the designs that we have created. So now let's go back to our Shopify store and we can upload our banners to our store. So I'm just going to click on the online store on the left over here and then I'll click customize. And before uploading our banners, I'm going to remove this block in the middle. So I'm going to delete the text in the heading and then I'm going to delete both of these buttons. And now if I click back onto the banner and disable the container and also delete the second image as well. Now all we need to do is upload the banners that we have designed. So on the first image, I'm going to click change and select image. Now I'm going to click upload and in the folder that we have just created, I'm going to select both of these and click open. Now we'll be able to see how these look on our website. So here is the individual product. So this banner allows us to focus on the one product and then we have the other one here and this allows us to focus on four separate products. So choose the banner that you want to display on your website and then click select at the bottom down here and save at the top right up here. Now we can exit the page editor and we are now ready to view our store to see how it looks with the banner that we have just designed. Okay, this looks good, but there is still another thing that we're going to have to change in the page editor. So I'm going to click edit home page again down here. And I'm going to select the image banner. And what I'm going to do is enable this option here that says adapt section height to first image size. So I'll click that and then I'll click the save button again. And now we can exit the editor and open our website once again. And as you can see, this now looks much, much better as it's no longer being squeezed in due to how the banner was previously set up. So now let's have a look at how the other banner looks that we have designed. So we can edit the home page again and I'm simply going to select the other banner. So we'll click onto the banner, click change and change image and we'll click onto this one here. Then I'll go to select and save and exit out of the editor and view your online store. Now if I refresh this page and there we go. So we can now see what the first banner that we designed looks like the banner that focuses on the one individual product. So there we go, we have successfully used Canva to design some absolutely fantastic looking Shopify website banners. That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something new. I will see you in the next one. Once again, thanks and goodbye.